Hey, hello everybody! So good to have you here. You know, if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the notification button, and the like. There we go. So, <laughs> you'll notice this video did not start off with us running today. Yeah, where was the running video? Did I forget the camera? Did I not charge it? Both of those things are possibilities. Always possible. Did I forget to put a card in the. Uh, that has also happened. Uh, happened yeah. Too, yeah. We didn't run today. Yeah. So, a little. Uh, little Little update. Let's start off with the updates. Uh, so, uh, if you've been uh, following... The knee saga continues. Yes, the knee saga. That's a good one. Uh, the knee saga. So, I had my uh, first uh, full uh, physical therapy uh, appointment. Uh, and my awesome physical therapist recommended that we not run today because we're definitely running the half marathon a week from today. Now remember, that's the big ice cream marathon. We are thrilled about it. We are, we are so psyched about it. So uh, on the advice of counsel, uh, namely my uh, physical therapist, yeah. we did not run today. We didn't run. Uh, however, also, your appointment was yesterday and he kind of yeah. wrenched you around a little bit. Yeah. So you're feeling a little tender right. today. So if you're watching this, uh, <laughs> Yeah, so I was I was kind of tender today. Uh, it appears as if I strained my inner hamstring, uh, and so that's what we're working on. Uh, it, it's really bothering me, um, but the plan is for me to uh, do my uh, exercises. I already did them today. Uh, a bevy of exercises to uh, work on that hamstring and uh, other parts of my uh, my legs. Um, and yeah, so I'm a little wobbly, uh, but that's okay. I have uh, two more appointments this week before the half marathon. So we're going to be ready. We can do it. Yeah. We're going to do it. So that's the update for me. I mean, the good news is uh, in, in terms of the x-ray, the structure of my knee is fine. I, I just, again, uh, looks like I strained a hamstring. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't know if, if I, I'm sure I've said this before, I have like the tightest hamstrings ever. It's unbelievable how... He can't, he can't bend over, he can't, you know, I just, they're, they're very tight. They are unusually tight. We have theorized that he grew too fast when he was young and his hamstrings didn't keep up. Mm -hmm. And uh, many yeah. years later, he's still yeah. feeling it. But physical therapy is going to get me uh, in a better place. And then, uh, you know, we can just uh, uh, keep doing our runs and stuff. So yeah. that's why we didn't run today. Oh, so... PT said, okay, you can run the half marathon. After that, you're not running for two weeks. Right. So after next week, we will have two more non-running updates for you. <laughs> right. But um, we'll see. We can keep walking. Yep. Yeah, we're going to keep walking. We're going to keep exercising. So. Uh, and keep planning because we've, we've got some stuff uh, uh, lined up. Namely, you know, we are signed up for the Disneyland half marathon in January. And then we have some other uh, penciled in races. It depends on how, uh, you know, where our, uh, where we are and then, you know, how it all falls in. So plenty of running coming just- uh, Not for a couple of weeks. Yeah, not for a couple of weeks because we need to uh, strengthen, get better, and then, uh, uh, you know, get moving. So on that note, thank you so much for some of the questions that we got. You know, we, we asked you to uh, submit some questions and please, please keep doing so. Because uh, yeah, uh, we're not going to be running yeah, for a couple gonna, weeks. Yeah, so yeah. we're happy to talk about other stuff for a yeah, little bit. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So uh, let's move on to uh, questions. Pretty good questions. First, we've had multiple people ask us, what is that yum? Uh <laughs> So it, it's actually uh, one of the original posters uh, that Apple put out when they released the uh, colored uh, IMAX. You know, you remember when the IMAX first came out, it was what they called a, a, a Bondi Blue IMAX. And then they released that model, but in multiple colors. And so that's a poster uh, that has all of the colors of those IMAX and uh, they just called it Young. It was part of their marketing campaign. So. There you go. Thanks for asking yum. that one. Yeah, yum. Um, okay, so 
Really good question. We got this question. What is it that motivates you when things start to get a little tough? Food. Food. Not not only the food, food. we just ate that we need to run off. Right. Yeah, because, yeah, it, usually <laughs> it's the food that's coming up whenever we get through whatever awful workout we're in. Yeah, yeah. But also, when we're doing those longer runs, like, we will have just eaten... A lot of food. A whole lot of carbs. Yeah. And that sometimes motivates me to keep going yeah. because I prep for it. <laughs> I need to burn off those calories. That's right. Yeah. 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 So food. It's food. I mean, really That's food. the reason we do this. And, and I'll throw in another thing because it, it has been a, a wonderful motivator, motivator for me, uh, uh, m my beautiful wife. She she is she is an awesome motivator. So I think I think about her all the time, and I'm like, I, I you know when we were dating, I need to I I can't let down my girlfriend. When we were engaged, I can't let down my fiance. We and, weren't engaged for very long. Yeah, like, we moved pretty quick. Yeah, it was like an hour cases. or something. And, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there you go, yeah. food and Laura. And dating. You, 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 didn't you, didn't <laughs> you did not have to say that. You did not have to say that. All right, here's a really good question. If you could go back and tell yourself anything before your very first run, what would it be and why? So this one got us thinking about our first runs. I mean, you ran in high school, but I did not run in high school. Yeah, but I was a sprinter. I was not a, a distance runner. Yeah. To totally different because like a sprint, you know. 13 seconds, it's over. Yeah. But I, I was never a distance runner. Yeah, so it made us think about it. It's been 12 years since I started running, I realized just now. Um, and more or less, I kind of started on a whim. I was hmm. I was in Weight Watchers. I, at the time, was much heavier than I am now and have been for the last 11 years. Um, and uh, like I was in the process of incorporating more activity into my everyday life. And I was like, maybe I'll try running. Totally a whim. And I found a good, you know, learn how to run program through Nike Plus. Nike Plus? Nike Fit? Nike Plus? I think it was Nike Plus. Nike Plus. And um, uh, it, it just kind of like started from there. So, you know, I guess what I would tell myself is like, hey, this whim is going to turn out to be pretty cool. Don't quit, which I didn't, but well, I know, I've, I've had off periods, but like this, this little whim is going to take you some pretty neat places and it has. Well, that's, that's pretty neat. Huh. Mm. Yeah. So my first long run or my foray into long running was with Laura. And, and I've said this before, I felt like a really bad uh, boyfriend because we went to Disneyland and, and the first time I felt that. We went to Disneyland together for the first time, and you were training. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Laura woke up really, really early our first day there, and she went out for a run because she was training, and I didn't. And I, I thought, yeah, that, that's... It never bothered me. Yeah, but it, it, it bothered me. So one day uh, I said, you know, I, I want to run with you. And so uh, Laura started me on a really, really, like, easy like i did like we're gonna around. run for this long yeah. and we're gonna walk for this long it was like a 30 second run and a two minute walk I something think. Yeah. it was and i gotta tell you now i i ran track i ran the high hurdles when i was younger you know competitive running and sprinting and, and all i ever did was sprint work and and so we went out you know we went out for a run that day it was gonna be 30 second run two minute walk and i felt absolutely miserable it was it was horrible it, it really was mm -hmm. and I'm thinking oh my gosh I I can't believe it the 30 second run seemed longer than the two minute walk mm -hmm. and and it was it was awful absolutely awful and thank you for the question because again it, it made me think about that because we were even like yeah what 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 did, you, did do? you start running yeah if I could go back and tell myself anything right before that run it would be you'll get better you know, you'll get better because. And you did. Oh and my we God. do. Like, yeah, we've gotten better. Even, even since like starting these videos, we've gotten better because we watch ourselves run and we're like, oh, yeah. why am I so hunched over? Like, why am I know? running like this? So we're like working on our form yeah. and like we're continuing to get yeah. better. And, you Not know, faster, but better. No, but <laughs> three marathons later, yeah. you know, I, I think that person that day would have said, you know, you're, you're full of crap. I, I don't even think we ran a mile that day. 
It was like a like we, two blocks or something. We probably covered a mile total. It was like probably 30 minutes of walk run. We did a while. Anyway, good question. Thank you. Okay, next question. This is a good one too. What has been your favorite race you've ever participated in and why? The first Star Wars half marathon. Yeah. The run, it was our first run Disney race. Yeah, not the first Star Wars run at Disney World. Our first. Yeah. So it was our first run Disney run. Our first, it was my first half marathon. Ever. Our first half marathon together. Mm -hmm. And then it was our first Star Wars race. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. It was It was, it was such a best. good race. We miss it so much. That uh, was 2018. Here, take a it look at some so of this. It was so good. good yeah it i mean yeah. you know and if you've ever run run disney think back to the first one you did for us it was just mind-blowing right because mm -hmm. you know we trained for it we prepared and we ran you know races to get to that point around here but you know local races are great uh and we've seen footage of park races which i think are fantastic and, and they're wonderful but you know, you go to Disney and you have, like at the Star Wars one, explosions, mm -hmm. fire, you know, fireworks, yeah. all of these characters and, you know, Darth Vader and, and all, man. And then everybody there, thousands of people and all of the, you know, costumes and the music. And mm. I mean, it was, it was remarkable for us. And it, it's actually what got us on this run Disney kind mm -hmm. of kick. I mean, yeah. You know, we did the next Star Wars race, and we did the challenge at the next Star mm -hmm. Wars race. But thinking back, that race was just, it was the best. Yeah. It, it really was. And and there were just so many milestones for us that, you know, it, it mm -hmm. really still stands out. Uh, it was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it really was. Anyway, yeah. those are the questions we got. Thank you so much for asking. Please keep sending them. We really need them. <laughs> <laughs> Give us some content, please. Yeah. yeah. Please. Yeah. So, you know, the, the <laughs> knee saga continues, but I've got great uh, physical therapy mm -hmm. uh, and I'm really looking forward to continuing that. So, uh, you know, we can get uh, we can get back to the point where, you know, we concentrate more on uh, our uh, our training for something instead of, uh, you know, yeah. doing stuff to get better. Yeah. We'll see. We'll yeah. find something. Yeah. Thanks for your support. Uh, you know, thanks for staying in touch with us. Let us know what you're doing. Uh, again, we're looking at uh, different races here and there and, uh, you know, penciling them in. We and then erasing them. <laughs> yeah. And then it's like, I, we totally had one penciled in for two weeks after the uh, yeah. other right. half. So that one, I don't know. We'll see how you feel. We can maybe still pull it off. Yeah, maybe. Because that's like right at that don't run for two weeks point. Uh -oh. I will ask my physical therapist. If you're watching, <laughs> here comes that question. How so. does April 8th look for running? But we'll see how you do. I'm sure <laughs> yeah. it will depend on how you do. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, too. Uh, the Blue Bonnet. It's a Blue Bonnet Festival. Blue Bonnet. And it's just a 10K. Just a 10K. Not a half marathon. We normally look for, like, half marathons around here. Is that the Especially classic while car it's cool. Yeah, there's also a classic car show. See, uh, now you know we have a classic car yeah. here. Here, here's our classic car right here. We could take the classic car to the classic car Park show. Park at the show, go run, run a 10K, enjoy a little small town wildflower charm. festival. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Well, I'll just have to be good about doing my exercises every day and my PT appointments. Anyway, all I have to say, thanks for watching. Stay in touch. Uh, we appreciate the encouragement we get when we uh, hear from you. And uh, hope that you uh, know that we uh, are encouraging you as well. We really love the running community. Looking forward to seeing and participating with all of you. Because it's always an adventure with you. We'll see you next time. <laughs>